welcome back to another video. Today we're at the picturesque village of Woodall Spa. We're gonna have a look uh, to see what history is knocking about. Woodall Spa is a lovely village in Lincolnshire and is associated with 617 Squadron, the Dam Busters. The Cottage Museum building began life as a flat pack. It's a corrugated iron building made by Boulton and Paul of Norwich, who went to manufacture aeroplanes. In 1887, the building was moved to its present site, which was next to the railway line. It became the home of Thomas Weald, who made the donkey and hand-drawn bath chairs. These were used to transport patients to the spa baths for treatments, and also for pleasure trips around the spa. The bungalow became the property of the Cottage Museum in 1987 and there are various exhibits and photographs to be seen in the museum. The area that we're stood in now was the Royal Hotel. It was destroyed with a parachute retarded bomb um, in August 17th and 18th 1943. They think the intended target was Woodall Spa. Obviously they missed. Luckily there, were no, there was nobody in the hotel so there were no casualties. Quite a massive memorial uh, for the Dam Busters and other people that have lost their lives. Guy Gibson. Be with youngest. Yeah. Which was the secret mission you did? You were, I guess. I'm not sure. Sure. And his name's up there. What's it? Uh, there. Burgess. Burgess, that one. I 
les ouvrir. Bon. DJ, Smoke, DSO, DSO. Yeah, in front of us was the site of the old railway station. Woodall Spa Station was on the branch line between Kirkstead and Horncastle. It was constructed in 1855. The station was a success as the people in the village could travel locally to Horncastle, Boston and Lincoln or further afield without having to make their way to Kirkstead Junction. In 1888 it was extended to include two platforms with a canopy, a passing loop, a new signal box, a new waiting room, booking hall and bookshop. Passenger service ceased in 1954 and the freight closed the line in April 1964. Jets about today. The Golf Hotel was requisitioned for military use during the war as the headquarters for the 2nd Battalion of the South Staffordshire Regiment. The 2nd South Staffordshire was one of the three infantry battalions that comprised the 1st Air Landing Brigade, with all three battalions being stationed at Woodall Spa for the build up to Arnhem, which was known as Operation Market Garden. Right. So the front one was built before the back one. We stood what was once the old railway line. <clears throat> and that way it took you down to the old station where we've just been before. Which is now the car park for co-op. We're going to head to uh, a cinema in the woods apparently. Bring you back when we find something. The spa bath is where the history of Woodall Spa begins. In 1821, John Parkinson, a local land agent, sank a shaft to find coal, but instead he hit a spring of saline water. People then started to drink the water as a cure. In 1839, a proper bathhouse and hotel complex was built by a local squire, Thomas Hodgkin. The complex was later modified and enlarged by the syndicate. Flicks in the Sticks was a nickname given by the hundreds of servicemen who crowded into the cinema in the woods during the Second World War. It's the only cinema in the country to operate by projection from behind the screen. Originally constructed in the late 19th century, it was known as the barn by the locals. Used for meetings and bazaars, it had a veranda added so people could watch cricket and tennis being played in the spa grounds. It's also been used as a concert hall. Then at the beginning of the 1920s it was decided a picture house was just what Woodall Spa needed and on the 11th of September 1922 the new Pavilion Cinema opened. So this is the original gate that would have marked the location between the Petwood Hotel and the cinema. No. It does look like a gun pit though, doesn't it? But this was a, a in these woods it was a bomb dump, weren't it? So these are the woods that were used as a bomb store or bomb dump. During the Second World War, the woods suffered much damage because of the army use. For two years prior to D-Day, equipment, ammunition, military vehicles and fuel were stored here, camouflaged by the trees. Soldiers would patrol the area at all times.
The hotel building served as a military hospital for injured soldiers during the Great War, complete with wards and an operating theatre, but it is the home of the legendary 617 Dambuster Squadron in World War II that the Petwood is best known. Occupied from 1942, it was originally home to officers of both 97 and 619 squadrons. But when 619 squadron moved to RAF Coningsby and 617 squadron moved to RAF Woodall Spa, the officers of 617 made the Petwood their home. Made up of Canadian, New Zealand and Australian, as well as British Royal Air Force personnel, 617 squadron were a top secret squadron entrusted with the specific task of crippling three key German dams carried out on the night of May 17, 1943. Today the Squadron Bar hosts a range of memorabilia and tributes to Wing Commander Guy Gibson VC and Group Captain Leonard Cheshire VC and their officers. So this church got damaged at the same time as the pub across the road. All that's left now is the graveyard. Let's see if we can find a picture, won't we? Yeah, this looks like where the actual ch church would be, doesn't it? Here stood the altar of St Andrew's Church, built 1847, demolished 1957. And you can just see, just across the road, the memorial where the pub was. Both buildings got damaged same day. And the parachute mine. That looks like part of Corpion Stone for the church maybe. I wonder whether that got broken blast. <laughs> 